This is a homework help video for section 6.2, problem 9. The problem says, suppose that the probability that a passenger will miss a flight is 0 0.0935. Airlines do not like flights with empty seats, but it is also not desirable to have overbooked flights because passengers must be bumped from the flight. Suppose that an airline or an airplane has a seating capacity of 55 passengers. If 57 tickets are sold, what is the probability that 56 or 57 passengers show up for the flight, resulting in an overbooked flight? Okay, so there are a couple things here that we need to make note of. So the first of all, uh, the first thing is that the probability that someone misses a flight is 0 0.0935. So the probability that they do not miss the flight or that they arrive for the flight is going to be the complement of that. So the probability that they do not miss is going to be 1 minus 0 0.0935. which is equal to 0 0.9065. So that is the probability that they do not miss. And in part A of the problem, we're looking for the probability that 56 or 57 passengers show up. So show up is the same as not missing. So the probability that they do not miss or that they show up is 0 0.9065. So that's going to be my P. This is a binomial distribution because it meets all of the requirements. And so I'm going to use my binomial calculator. So I'll open up StatCrunch and I'll go to Stat Calculators Binomial. And my N is going to be the number of tickets sold. So in part A, there were 57 tickets sold, and I want the probability that 56 or 57 passengers show up. So that's going to translate to X is greater than or equal to 56. And the probability that an individual passenger shows up is 0.9065. So my probability that the flight is overbooked is 0 0.0256. So they say round to four decimal places. And after four decimal places, the digit after that um, is five or greater. So I round up. So point, point 0 0.0256. Okay, so now on to part B. We want the probability, probability that a passenger will have to be bumped if 61 tickets are sold. So I'm going to change my N to 61. That's how many tickets are sold. What is the probability that a passenger will have to be bumped? So we are assuming that there are still only um, 55 seats on the plane. So a capacity of 55 passengers. So we still want um, X to be greater than or equal to 56. And the probability that a passenger shows up has not changed. So the only thing I'm changing here is the N, how many tickets are sold. So I compute that and I get 0 0.4886, because I round that five up, since the digit after is five or greater. 0.4886. And then part C says for a plane with seating capacity of 54 passengers, so now they're changing the seating capacity, how many tickets may be sold to keep the probability of a passenger being bumped below 5%? So in other words, we want this outcome here in our binomial distribution to be below 5%.
And so we're gonna have to do a little guessing here. So uh, seating capacity is 54 passengers. That's what we're told right here, 54 passengers. And so what we wanna do is we want to change our X. So the only way that someone would have to be bumped is if 55 or more passengers book the flight. If 54 book the flight, we're okay. But if 55 or more book, then we might have to bump someone. So the thing that we're playing with here is the number of tickets sold. So what I'm going to play with is N. So I'm gonna try out, um, let me try out a uh, 56. Okay, so that's below 5%. Let me see if 57 is still below 5%. No, when I change to 57 tickets sold, then now the probability that someone will have to be bumped is 0 0.0886, which is about 8.86%. Um, so I want to change back to 56 tickets sold, and that gives me a probability that someone will have to be bumped of 0 0.0277, which is 2.77%. So this should be 56 tickets, is the largest number that can be sold while keeping the um, percentage or probability of passengers needing to be bumped below 5%.